In today's video, we're going to be checking out Canva's new generative fill AI tool that will allow you to add or remove different elements from your photos using AI. Let's check it out. First, you're going to want to go to canva.com and you can see I have the site pulled up and you're just going to start by clicking create a design and here I've already uploaded my files so you can either create a custom size or you can just select one of the uploaded files. So this is the first one that I'm going to select here and I'm just going to click use in a new design and it'll custom size it based off of this image that I've uploaded here. All right, so we have our image in here now and the way you use this tool is you can just start by clicking on the photo and then you can click edit photo and then we can use this tool here, magic edit. So here you can have a different brush size and this is basically going to control how small or large the area is that you're going to modify. So my thought here is we could add a skier on the mountain. So let's see how this tool does with adding that. So I'm going to go, I guess we'll go right in here and we're going to say add a skier and we'll click generate all right and here we can see our different results so here's a couple of different options here um, this one actually fits in pretty well i think as well as this one based on the size of the image this one here it looks oops sorry let me zoom in and try to show you all this one doesn't look too bad, but you can see it kind of messed with this area back here. Uh, let's, let's show these ones. And I, I think I selected a little bit too large of an area as well. This one, I have no idea what's going on there, but I think these ones work pretty well actually. So, I mean, there's our image afterwards and you would really never know that that wasn't there before. So. I'm pretty impressed with the first one. So let's check out another design. Let's try another one. So I'm going to add a page and I'm just going to go to my uploads and here I'll drop in another photo that I got online. So this time I want to try to change something. So the first one we added a new element here. I'm going to try to modify what's already here. So once again, we're going to click on photo and then click edit photo and then go to magic edit. So here I'm going to highlight the plane all right and we're going to click continue and we're going to say make the plane yellow and black maybe let me be more specific I'm going to say change the color of the plane to yellow and black and then we click generate and pretty cool. I'm honestly really impressed with this result. Uh, this one looks really good. Here you can see our different options. Um, so obviously there's a couple different variations here. But overall, I think that did a really, really good job of doing exactly what we said. So I'm very impressed by that result. Awesome. So just for reference, that's the before, that's the after. I think it did pretty good. So I think we got some really good results from these two images that we tested out. Let's go ahead and try one more. Obviously the format of this photo is a little bit different um, since it's vertical, but I thought this would be a good example. So here, magic edit again, and I'm gonna select this area up here and I'm going to say add birds to the sky. And let's see what happens. So we got a couple results here. They were kind of all over the place. So this first one, um, I think goes without saying that that is probably not our best result, especially that bird there. I don't know what's going on. This one's a little bit more interesting and this is kind of what I had in mind. Um, you can see it kind of changed up some of the cloud coverage in the sky as well, but you can see a flock of birds that actually looks fairly realistic. Here's another one. There's a few kind of errors or things in there that don't look as realistic. And this one as well had some potential if it wasn't for this section here. So 
In this case, I think particularly because, like let me go back to the original image, there was a lot of um, leaf coverage up in this area here, and I think that probably created some confusion maybe for the tool. But overall, I would still say that I am really pleased with the results that we got in these first few, and I'm excited to see how this tool continues to improve over time. I did wanna make a little side note that if you're trying to remove elements from a photo, that's where you're going to wanna to use the Magic Eraser. So while this tool that we use today, Magic Edit, is included in the free Canva plan, the Magic Eraser is not. So you would need to at least sign up for a free trial to use that tool. So that's just something to keep in mind as you are working on editing photos, if that's something that you do want to do. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to like this video and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.